Welcome back to the show. The race is on to revolutionise the auto industry, but the take-up of electric cars thus far has been slow and also costly. An Israeli startup might have developed the next best thing here. It's already caught the eye of one major car manufacturer. Oren Lieberman has CNN's inside look at a new engine as it's put to the test. At the Formula One testing circuit, speed is king. And if this is where you build up speed, the engine testing lab is where you create power. This is where revolution is coming together, a complete redesign of the piston engine. Shaul Yacobi is the mind behind the Aquarius engine. He's brought his engine here for testing. CNN was allowed inside the lab to see the engine tested for the first time. The basic piston engine has barely changed ever since it was put in a car in the 1890s. The engine in a Model T Ford works much like the engine in a Porsche. For that matter, everything in between. The outside of the cars may look completely different, but the inside is very much the same. Look at this 3D model of an eight-cylinder engine. The piston in each cylinder fires in one direction, only when it goes down, and it only fires every other time it goes around. That linear motion, up and down, is turned into rotational energy. Aquarius, an Israeli startup, wants to change that. The piston in the Aquarius engine fires in both directions, in this engine left and right, and it fires every time it moves back and forth. The piston then drives an electric motor. On today's electric cars, Aquarius says this engine can increase range and fuel efficiency. Pierre Detre is an engineer with 30 years experience with high performance engines. The genius of this one, he says, is its simplicity. Why simple? Because uh, you bring uh, definitely few parts, means also few friction inside the engine, and this, is, uh, this brings uh, high efficiency for the engine. This, Friedman likes to say, is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Orrin Lieberman, CNN, Roche